Welcome back to our channel. Today we are doing our May favorites. Can you believe it's May? Like, it's June. It's June. It's my birthday month. And we're going on mega vacation at the end of the month, so we're very excited. I've been like counting down the days. I'm like, 20 days left. We can, we can do it. We can get through work to do it. So excited. But today we're going to be talking about our May favorites, everything that we loved. So let's get started. My first favorite from May is this Amika. And this is the Shield Style Extending Spray. Number one, this stuff smells amazing. I have used this dry shampoo before and I really like that dry shampoo and so I gave this Style Extending Spray um, a try. Basically what I use this for is as my heat protectant. So um, I spray it on dry hair right before I curl it or flat iron it and it smells really good and it does help my curls um, you know either stay a little bit longer or if I'm flattering my hair keep it really smooth um, you know for a good amount of time about 24 hours or so so really really like this um, so if you're looking for a good style extender slash heat protectant that smells really good give this Amika one a try and the packaging oh, it's so, so cute, cute. So I cute. freaking love it this makes me like happy just look at it you know yeah makes me happy so my first Favorite from May are these NYX, 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 I don't know how to say it. I think it's um, NYX, but I, I'm not sure. Yeah, they are these soft matte lip creams. So it's a liquid lipstick, which I absolutely love. Um, I'm wearing this one today, which is Stockholm. So it's kind of, it looks nude in the tube, but it's a little more orangey on the lips. I'm wearing it. Um, so they're really cheap. They're like $5.99, $6.99. They sell them at... Target, um, some of the drugstores, they don't sell it at Sephora, but they do sell it at Ulta, so if you have an Ulta by you, go and grab them. Um, my one complaint about them, though, is that they, the color isn't necessarily the same as it is on the tube. It's always a little different, and I have to layer it a lot to get the color that I want, but it's not as drying as other matte ones are, so you can layer it, and it doesn't have the effect on your lips, which is really nice so I really suggest these if you don't want to spend a lot of money um, but you want a ton of different colors to choose from go have at it my next favorite is kind of a two for one this is something that I have been doing a lot the past month or so um, as part of my morning skincare routine um, particularly if I wake up extremely tired this is the first thing that I do besides brush my teeth um, I like this um, mist uh, from, a, how do you say that? Avene? Avene. Um, it's basically just like a thermal spring water mist. Evian makes one too. Um, it's just a really, really fine mist. Um, I like this, um, you know, when traveling. I like this just to kind of cool off. But it also doubles really well as um, in the morning if I'm really tired. So instead of like splashing a ton of water on my face, I give a little spritz of this, particularly um, on my eyes, closed. Um, it's just to kind of help wake myself up. It's kind of an instant um, refresher. And then I immediately follow it with this um, Avalon Organics Vitamin C Vitality Facial Serum. Um, I picked this up at. It is a lot of words. I picked this up at the drugstore a couple months ago, and I've been using it pretty regularly just to kind of see. Um, it is all organic. Um, it's like an antioxidant intensive treatment that says it stimulates cellular renewal and provides photo aging defense. Um, again, a lot of words. Basically, <laughs> it's just like a vitamin C serum. Um, so it smells really citrusy, fresh. Actually, you know. Funnily, what this really reminds me of is yeah. if you if you ever ate Flintstone vitamins as a kid, ew, and that smell, <laughs> ew, that's what you it know exactly like. what I'm talking about. Um, that's that's really what it smells like. On, um, it's it's a little pump applicator. Um, ew, <laughs> but I kind of like that smell. So, it's but like pa it's like the powdery like it's just it's really heavy on that vitamin c so obviously the swimstone vitamins have a lot of vitamin c in them um so if you don't like that smell you may not like this but that <laughs> i like it and it's the combination of these two things um it is something that i've really been loving the past month 
My next beauty favorite is this Physicians Formula Mascara. Um, I went to Target to go buy it, but Target didn't have it, so I ended up getting it at Ulta. But what it is, two steps here. We've got a big tube, little tube. Big tube is first, your regular mascara. Um, I like it, but it, around the top it seems to get a little gloopy. Cl clumpy and gloopy, but gloopy. when the mascara goes on, it's really nice. So you do a layer of that. And then you open this bad boy, and this is a little tube of little fibers. And so while the mascara is still wet, this is funny because I was actually just this morning thinking to myself, I need to find a good fiber mascara. I didn't even know she had this. Um, so you just take it out, tap the excess a little bit, put it on the tips of it, and then seal it in with another coat on that mascara. It's really great, really opens your eyes, and for me, I have. They're not super short eyelashes. Our mom has really short ones, but mine aren't short, but they're very thick. All my hair is very thick. They're very thick. They're very, <laughs> <laughs> they're very thick, and even if I had an eyelash curler on my eyelashes all day and never let go, they still would not stay up. So I need to figure out a more permanent, you know, maybe like a eyebrow lift or something. Heat. Eyebrow lift. Have you ever tried a <laughs> Have you, have you ever tried a uh, heated eyelash curler? Mm-mm. Oh, maybe try that. Or there's a trick where you can use your blow dryer on it and get it kind of warm mm -hmm. and then, anyway. But this is a good kind of dupe for that for just an everyday thing, so it's not an all the time thing, but really enjoying this at the moment, so. My next favorite, I don't know why all mine seem to be beauty this month, but um, this is something that we picked up when we visited the face shop. Um, I don't know, when was that? That was several months ago, actually. Mm -hmm. um, we did a post on it, so search the face shop on. I'll link it down below. On our <laughs> um, so this is a gold silk overnight repairing sleeping mask. Now the directions on the back <laughs> are all in Korean, I believe. Some kind of Asian language, but since this is Korea. Yeah, yeah, it's made in Korea, so I'm assuming that it's Korean, um, but I can't read it. So I just kind of have been using this as a overnight moisturizer, just because I wasn't really sure what it was supposed to be doing, but it says that it, um, it contains gold silk and it removes traces of skin aging. That is the only thing in English on this bottle. So I've just been using it as a overnight moisturizer. Um, I did actually Google just like last week exactly how this was supposed to be used because I've been using it for months and months um, <laughs> and didn't bother to do that. <laughs> um, so basically what the directions that I was able to deduce from uh, Google searching this product was to put it on overnight, um, sleep in it, and then wash it off the next morning. So the only thing I haven't been doing is washing it off. but. I find that it has absorbed so much or come mm -hmm. off on my pillow overnight that I don't really need to wash it off. I've used it a few times too, and I really like it. <laughs> uh, she leaves it in the bathroom, you know, too. and just see it. It's fine. So I really have been liking this. I, you know, to me, it just feels like a really heavy, good overnight moisturizer. I don't know necessarily that it has been that the gold silk properties have been necessarily doing anything as far as anti-aging but um, it has a really good scent just kind of clean and um, I, I really enjoyed liking it or enjoyed using it rather <laughs> um, I think you can buy this online um, we'll link it below if so uh, the face shop has a website so if you're not in New York and can't go to the face shop um, and want to give kind of a, a Korean beauty product a try. Korean uh, beauty products Korean are the best. Korean beauty products are great. Um, I really recommend this gold silk overnight mask. My last beauty favorite of the month is this micellar cleansing water. Micellar? You think uh, is micellar? it my, micellar? Micellar? So I have always, during my evening skincare routine to take off my makeup, I have like an oily makeup remover that I use for my eyes and then I use a um, face wipe and then cleanse my face and do all the other stuff but I've been seeing people talk about this I've seen all the commercials and I'm like okay I need to see like what this stuff is so I bought it um, when I was home and I got it from Target and I'm obsessed 
So the only thing that I don't like about using an oil-based makeup remover is that it leaves all the oily residue on your face. This is literally just some sort of water, which I mean it's bubbling so it has some sort of soap in it, but I can't tell what it is, but it is amazing. It gets everything off so incredibly fast. I just put some on like a cotton mm -hmm. thing and just, so I let it sit on each eye and then just like wipe away and it's gone. The mascara sometimes is a little bit harder to get off, but that's because I like layer on mascara. Like I use like three different mascaras in one go. So if you don't do that, it should come off really easily. Um, and then I use it for my face as well. And then, so instead of using a makeup wipe and anything, then I go straight into washing my face and serums and everything. Um, I really like it, you know, cause it's basically just water, which I like, I'm very into the natural Things we now, <laughs> so I'm I'm have really enjoyed using this, and I think I would definitely buy it again. I need sure. to give it a try. Yeah, I really like it. They do have this is just like a regular one, but then they have the one with the blue top. I believe gets off waterproof makeup. Mm -hmm. So if you have waterproof makeup, buy that one. But I don't like waterproof makeup, so yeah, give it a try. My next favorite is from Sephora. It is a uh, white eyeliner essentially I use this in the what my lower waterline to just kind of help brighten my eyes um, this is something that she's been doing for a while and I've just Although, been too lazy I actually use a highlighting pencil instead of a white eyeliner well but this same thing this I I, I gravitated towards because obviously your waterline is watery that's why it's called a waterline <laughs> um, but I happened to be browsing one day at Sephora and saw this and it's waterproof which um, I thought, well, hey, that would probably stay um, <laughs> rather than, than another product. And I also like this because um, it's kind of a pearly white. It's not mm -hmm. stark white, um, so it's not quite so contrasting. Um, but I have it on right now. Obviously, my veins are kind of too long and in my eyes, so you can't really see. But I really like using this product. It's just an instant way to help look a little bit more refreshed. And your eyes, it just opens them up. <laughs> Why is that the second time we've done oh, that in this video? <laughs> Alright, so um, if you want a little trick, this is called um, Sephora Crayon Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear and the color is um, Blonde Ambition. Alright, so I'm done with beauty now. Moving on to, I don't even know how you classify this. Health. 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 So I came across this new line of vitamins which I'm obsessed with. Basically, they're all chewy vitamins. Now, if you don't know this Fun about, about shelves. I cannot swallow pills. If it's tiny, tiny ones, like an allergy medicine that I take and stuff that's really tiny, I can do that, but anything bigger than that, mm -mm. it's not going down. I have tried everything in the she world. She gags, it's, it's a bad. whole dramatic She's affair. had to give me the Heimlich before <laughs> because I tried to take pills and it gets stuck. It's a whole struggle. So, enter these. This is a new line of chewy vitamins that are, I think, exclusively at Target, but you can also buy them on their website. But if you, I looked on their website, if you buy it from their website, it's on a, like a subscription basis. So it like charges you every month and sends them to you monthly, which is great for some people, but I like to just go and buy them. So these are my favorites. This one has honestly changed my life. So I am a really deep sleeper and I don't really need anything to sleep, but sometimes, you know, you want to just like get to sleep quicker. Ashley takes melatonin every night because it's natural. I've tried that. Doesn't do jack crap for me. But then I found these, and this is a mix of melatonin, L-leonine, and a lot of words that we've realized during the course of filming this video that we don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> <laughs> but these taste like blackberries. And they're just little, two little chewy that you do. It literally knocks me out like a light, and I'm out till the morning. Like it's great. That one. How do you open it? Well, that one's new, and there's a thingy on it. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but this one is great. I also this one is basically like biotin, uh, which I can take the biotin pills because they're pretty small. But if it comes in chewy form, I'm gonna chew it. <laughs> you know, just why go through the stress? You don't need it. <laughs> we don't need the stress in our lives. It's fine. So this one's biotin, vitamin C, and borage oil. This one tastes like grapefruit, which I'm not a huge grapefruit fan, but I love grapefruit. I deal with it, but 
loving this one. It's making my skin look great. Hair is growing. Nails are growing. It's wonderful. This one is not probably necessary and I don't take it every day and I won't be taking it on vacation with this but this one is called Hello Sunshine and it's a vitamin D supplement. Now in our apartment in my room specifically I get zero natural light and since we both work from home we um okay camera uh, memory card was replaced. Replaced. now it's replaced so back to this one I don't get a lot of natural light and since we work from home we don't go out into the sunshine as much as possible so this is just a little vitamin D supplement I don't take it every day and I didn't take it in Texas because I was out in the sunshine then so this is really just to have on hand when I think I need it um, and last but not least, and I haven't started this one yet because I have a multivitamin that I'm trying to finish up before I start this one. So this is a women's superfoods multivitamin, and this one has a boost of super fruits and veggies in it, which is good for me because I don't eat my vegetables. She does not. I like kale. Which is a random vegetable to like, <laughs> but that's about it. Um, so this will be really good for me, and I was trying to figure out which one this tastes like. Oh, it tastes like elderberry. Yummy. So they all have really nice flavors and they taste good. So I'm obsessed with these. So if you're looking for some new supplements and you don't like taking pills, these are the ones. My next May favorite is actually the earrings I have on. These are from Kendra Scott. Um, Kendra, typical Kendra Scott are actually what Shelby has on. Um, those are like the classic, you know, identifiable Kendra Scott earrings. And, um, it, while we were in Texas, uh, Shelby and our mom actually were nice enough to actually daddy done bought them. <laughs> Somebody purchased these for me and they were awaiting when I arrived in Texas and I pretty much wore them every single day since. I really like them. They're just gold. They're classic. Um, they're not too heavy like some of the Kinder Scott earrings tend to be. I really like the open wire um they just kind of they literally go with everything mm -hmm. i own so if you're looking for a good just kind of classic but slightly trendy um you know earring to have i really really recommend um these next up is this cookbook how obsessed am i with this cookbook we both are it's amazing like every night i cook something out of here and there's only been like two recipes that I'm like, yeah, probably wouldn't make them again, but it's not because the recipe isn't good, it's because I just don't like the flavor of whatever it was. Um, so it's nothing against the recipe, it's just my pickiness. But this is amazing. So this is the Minimalist Baker. If you've never been to her website and made any of her recipes, A, why? <laughs> B, go now. Um, sh she's very plant-based, vegan, um, but you can obviously amend it to however you want if you're not any of those things. Um, but just the flavors of how she does things. She puts like garlic and everything in them. It's my girl right there. I'm, I love me some garlic. <laughs> I put garlic in everything. Um, I'm trying to think, what was our favorite? Oh, my favorite recipe so far was, which we made them, I made them with my mom um, in one of the, one of our What We Ate In A Day The videos. first, what why can I not find it? It's the Thai quinoa meatballs, which they're amazing. Um, we also did the cornbread chili pot pies. Um, we've done some different curries. I mean, just literally everything is so amazing and it's all the kind of ingredients that we use and we cook with um, because it's pretty plant-based and healthy and we're obsessed so this is the best purchase I have made of this year I would say because we've used it the most. <laughs> we literally sat in Barnes & Noble one day looking for some new cookbooks to get kind of re-inspired with our meals and literally we both sat and read every single page of this cookbook mm -hmm. and there was only a couple things that were like yeah that doesn't sound good mostly because they were they primarily mushroom mushrooms and that's yeah neither of us are mushroom fans so i mean that's the only reason why um but really it is rare that we find a cookbook where mm -hmm. there's so much in there that we actually um you know, want to make. So, mm -hmm. so far we're really both loving this and I'm reaping the benefits from her cooking. <laughs> My last favorite's kind of random, but um, I picked up these Rifle Paper Company notebooks at Anthropology um, recently. I'm, so I know they're so cute. I've been using them just as my like work to-do list notebooks. Um, but the paper's lined which I really like mm -hmm. just to kind of help me say 
organized. They're lightweight, they're pretty thin, um, easy to throw in a bag. Um, and it was a pack of three for like $15, I think. Yeah, $15. Um, I really love the prints of Rifle Paper Company and um, so these just make me happy. Mm -hmm. Last but not least is these coconut chips. I've been all about coconut everything, have I not? You have been, which, which is really is weird. weird. We don't like coconut. But I do, apparently, I, I because <laughs> I put coconut in everything. So when I was at Whole Foods the other day, I saw these and they are toasted coconut chips that are caramel sea salt with coconut sugar. And that they sounds are, really gross. No, well she hates caramel. But these and are, coconut. like, I need to eat them right now, I'm sorry. They're so good. So they have these little, they're just like thin little things. So Is it like yeah. shaved coconut? Like, yeah, I think so. Oh my god. That's so good. All right, everybody, that's it. Hope you enjoyed our video. I can't believe we're like already June. This time next month, we'll be filming our June favorites, which is After nuts. Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos. Turks and Caicos. <laughs> All right. Um, but if you like this video, give us give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and let us know what other kind of videos you'd like to see. See you later. Bye. Bye. It's very hot in here. It's very hot.